5 and 10% of people living in Europe will suffer from serious hearing problems at some point in their lives. The main cause is age, and the next most common cause is noise. Old-style hearing aids were bulky, unsightly and not very comfortable to wear. But in 1989, in Linga near Copenhagen, work began on a new generation of hearing devices. Danish researchers decided to use computer graphics to produce perfectly shaped devices which fitted exactly into a person's ear canal. This technology is now the basis for nearly all hearing aids produced the world over. In this futuristic building where more than 750 people work, hearing aids are built and then exported to around 100 countries worldwide. Danish engineer Jan Topholm is behind this technology. He explains the benefits. You get a better fit in the ear, which is very important for the function it has to be tight, otherwise the hearing aid will whistle. And this way you can make a shell that fits the ear much more precisely than you could with the old method. The computer can decide everything. It can decide where you place the components. Here we see the loudspeaker and as you can see we can move it around. And up here we have the amplifier and the battery block which also has the microphone in it. This can be moved around also, so that we can find an optimal position in the ear. When it becomes green, it means that it is not touching anything, like now for example. Now when it's red, it is touching something, so we have to move it. The process starts with a laser scan of a patient's ear. This produces a detailed 3D picture, which technicians can easily manipulate. Based on this model, another laser shapes a special plastic, layering up wafer-thin slices of the material. After three hours, the device is ready to be fitted. My life has changed so that I can actually hear now. Uh, it is not uh, uh, natural hearing. Uh, but it's so much better that I, that I can have a normal job, I have my friends, I, I go out in the city. It's the last thing I do in, in the evening, that is to take them out and, and put them on, on the table beside the bed. And the first thing I do in the morning, that is to, to grab them on, on the table and put them in the ear and turn them on. I need them just to, to live. 65-year-old Jan Topholm has spent most of his life working on hearing aids. He works in the factory that was created by his father, and his sons now work there too. He's among the nominees for the European Inventor Award, organised by the European Patent Office, which takes place this month in Copenhagen. So how does it feel to bring a technology to life? You can find an area that has not been explored and you can find something new that actually works and works well, both for the hard of hearing and for us, then it's a very nice feeling. How do you see your future? I feel that we are in a good position to continue making other inventions, and we have made uh, several. And uh, this one was an important one, but we have made many others. Millions of people around the world benefit from Jan Topholm's invention, but he's no plans to step down yet and intends to continue refining the technology.